Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is almost in theaters, and critics are finally getting a chance to see the finished product. And they have thoughts. When Scott Lang joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2015, no one knew what to expect. After all, Ant-Man was subject to many creative changes behind the scenes, with the most notable being the departure of original director Edgar Wright. However, Ant-Man and his sequel, Ant-Man and the Wasp, has proven to be exciting additions to the MCU canon, giving fans moments of humorous respite amid the more high-stakes adventures of the overarching franchise. But does Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania live up to expectations? The third film in the Ant-Man franchise marks the beginning of Phase 5 of the MCU. So the titular crusader has a lot of weight to carry on his tiny shoulders. The film sees our heroes forced to try and navigate the quantum realm, which brings them into contact with strange creatures and the biggest threat to date, Kang the Conqueror. Everything you call a life will end. With that in mind, what do the critics have to say about Marvel's latest adventure? The general consensus among reviewers on Rotten Tomatoes is that Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is enjoyable for the most part. However, as a movie, it's very flawed. Several reviewers pointed out that the film is too focused on laying the building blocks for Phase 5, which comes at the expense of telling a fully formed threequel story. Collider's Ross Bonham wrote, Quantumania is a promising but shaky start for Phase 5 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It's just a shame it comes at the sake of the little guy. Meanwhile, Slash Film's Jeff Ewing noted that the film gets Phase 5 off to a promising start. But it's undercooked in the grand scheme of things, he says. Altogether, the film is an engaging and fun start for the real meat of the multiverse saga. It's also one that needs more care and detail to flourish. For some critics like Jamie Broadnax of Black Girl Nerds, the threequel tries to integrate several genres into its narrative, only to experience an identity crisis as a result. In her opinion, tonally, this film is different from the other films, a bit uneven. It feels like Jeff Loveness's script wasn't sure what genre this movie wanted to be. That said, IGN Movies' Joshua Yell believes that Marvel's latest blockbuster has more pros than cons, writing, Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania has just enough heart, humor, and excellent performances to make up for its more underdeveloped aspects. Kang the Conqueror will be the big bad of the MCU for the foreseeable future, with his story set to ramp up and conclude in Avengers The Kang Dynasty and Avengers Secret Wars. Needless to say, a lot is riding on the franchise's newest formidable foe. And he has big shoes to fill considering that Thanos once wiped out half of the universe with a snap of his fingers. The good news, though, is that based on what critics are saying, the new baddie is off to a flying start. I am Kang! Writing for The Guardian, Ellen E. Jones praised Major's performance and compared the villain to one of the most morally flawed characters in the Star Wars franchise. She said, Majors brings the same emotionally intense Ip Boy energy of Adam Driver in The Force Awakens. Note how his eyes are often watery with empathy for his victims, even as he throttles them. Elsewhere, The Hollywood Reporter's Frank Sheck praised Kang as a highlight of the movie, noting that he brings a real sense of gravitas to the proceedings. He writes, While it's not surprising that the actor's imposing physicality perfectly suits his iconic villainous character, he also invests his performance with such an arrestingly quiet stillness and ambivalence that you're on edge every moment he's on screen. USA Today's Brian Truitt echoed these sentiments, stating that Kang's present covers up some of the film's flaws, saying, Majors thankfully rides the ship every time he pops up with this deliciously disconcerting presence. 